were listeners. And I went down and talked to one car that had just been harassed as well. And they said, yeah, the seagulls were flying around, so we threw them a chip. They were right on us. I went and talked to the other group. They didn't want to be on camera, but they were listeners. The park ranger at the office was a listener. A guy driving by was a listener. People on both sides of us were listeners. I said, that's it. I'm going to Port A to go check into a hotel. I go there with my family. I walk down to the pier. I walk in and buy a bottle of water because I'd walk with my children a couple miles down there. And they go, Alex Jones? And the dad's a listener. The son cooking hamburgers in the back, a little place. And the mom's a listener. I walk out. People go, keep up the good work, Alex. Fisherman up on the top of the pier. I'm walking down the beach. People are like, that's Alex Jones. That's Alex Jones. That's Alex Jones. I walk in one gas station last night in Kyle to get gas and to get a Perrier. I'm evil. And the two kids in there buying something are listeners. Is that him? Is that him? Folks, again, we are really starting to have an effect. And so you've seen these video clips and photos interspersed in here. Uh, the point is, is that they are hiring people who just get off on bossing people around. In the old days, cops would just drive up and down the beach. If they saw a problem, they'd do something. Driving out to Port A, I saw a car catch on fire. Well, I saw it smoking in the distance once we got there. It was pretty much burnout. out. The police and fire department were there. That's what real police do is, is respond to real things, not just henpeck you. That happened to me at the Grand Canyon. We were driving the RV up, looking for the RV parking. She pulls us over, starts screaming at us, and says, what are you doing up here? And we go, we're looking for the RV parking. We're on a major road. She goes, this road's for buses only. I could have you arrested. And I just looked at her and I said, Richard Reeves was there. He, 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 he went with us. And I said, you really want to have us arrested? You really want to just tell me that? I said, all we did was at night pull up here. It's major road. Where, where is the parking? And she settled down and went, you're right. Let me show you where it is and led us to it. And it was just right down the street. What is this? An RV's on the wrong road. Let's blow up and threaten to arrest people with little kids. It's always the little kids that make them stop. Because my kids were looking at them out the window all scared. And, and the woman kind of felt bad and, 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 and uh, backed off. But the point is, you just, you're all hyped up like you're fighting Al-Qaeda. We didn't even get to that story. Mainstream news admits that our government is funding Al-Qaeda to blow up Assad military bases and in, in, in police stations. And they're wearing Al-Qaeda black uniforms with Al-Qaeda patches with the UN. They just gave them Libya. And, you, and, you, and you, the police are all afraid of the non-existent threat of Al-Qaeda getting in people's faces. I'm tired of it. You're ruining the country. Your, your bosses are telling you to do this in an attempt to get the public... Police have told me, we're told to arrest people for no seatbelts, to get them in the database. They want everybody used to being arrested. That's diabolical. That's tyranny. And I know you won't get promoted. You're in a peer pressure thing. You want that 100000 Some cops are paid 150000 even sergeants. You want that big money. Is your soul worth it? Isn't your passion for truth? I was talking to a friend who trains police just today. And the guy didn't know that I'm friends with him. <clears throat> the, the police officer didn't. And he goes, yeah, you were this big, you know, high-level cop, but you've been busted down now just to patrol. And he goes, yeah, they want us to break the law and do a lot of bad stuff. I wouldn't do it, so they busted us down, you know, me and a whole bunch of the buddies. And he's like, yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy. He goes, well, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm doing some work with Alex Jones. He goes, Alex Jones, he's a little bit alarmist. I mean, he's, a, he's an okay guy, but he's alarmist. And my friend's like, but you just said you won't do criminal things in the Austin Police Department, so a bunch of you got busted down. See, you're not going to run from this. You're all targeted by it. Everybody's targeted by it. This is wrong. If it's against the Bill of Rights and Constitution, it's a load of bull. That's common sense. And as we lose that Bill of Rights and Constitution, we're losing our whole society. So here's one more of the clips as we go out to break. We're going to come back with our guest with the police drugging people. But hey, the troops grow the opium, so again, all of this, Al-Qaeda works for the government, the troops grow the opium, the terrorists run the government. Does that mean the average military man or bureaucrat is bad? No. But the system is bad at the top, and we better reverse this now, because the globalists are setting up to totally take over, to secure all their ill-gotten gains. It's InfoWars Nightly News. Stay with us. 
Have you been to InfoWarsShop.com lately? Express your inner patriot with these brand new InfoWars t-shirts. Say it loud with the InfoWars bullhorn shirt. Or educate the sheeple with the Bill of Rights shirt. Grope the public's mind with the TSA shirt. And with this shirt, you can let the dark side know of the Rebel Alliance's power. All available at InfoWarsShop.com sick of the globalist eugenicist control freaks adding poison to your water and laughing as you get sick and die start purifying your water with pro pure my friends i've done a lot of research and the best gravity filter out there bar none is pro pure and it's available discounted at infowars.com its filters are silver impregnated to prevent bacterial growth there's no priming required it's nsf 42 certified optional fluoride filters can reduce fluoride up to 95 percent easy to set up and use Does doesn't require electricity. Purify water from lakes, streams, ponds, and wells. This filter system leaves in beneficial minerals, which is key. Save money by not buying bottled water and avoid BPA that leaches from the plastic. ProPure is the best gravity-fed filter out there. It's what my family uses. Infowars.com already has the lowest price on ProPure. But if you add the promo code WATER at checkout, you get an additional 10% off at Infowars.com. You can also call to order 888-253-3139. And we are back. Thank you for joining us here at InfoWars Nightly News. If you believe in the First Amendment and our defense of this republic and freedom worldwide, please become a subscriber at PrisonPlanet.tv or InfoWarsNews.com. Nine plus years that we've had the site. All of my documentary films, my book, Paul Watson's book, the commercial free daily radio slash TV podcast, expanded extras, uh, live uh, video feeds when I'm on the road, and your membership at PrisonPlanet.tv helps fund this truly independent teleprompter free media. Again, thank you for joining us and thank all the subscribers out there for your support. Without you, we couldn't do it. PrisonPlanet.tv. We have a 15-day free trial and each membership is really six memberships with your username and passcode that you create. Just make sure it's not your passcode for your bank account. Uh, you can share that with up to five other people who can simultaneously be logged on. So that's six memberships for the price of one, prisonplanet.tv. Also remember, it's your other purchases that make uh, what we do here uh, possible, like the ProPure Gravity Fed Filters, the best on the market. We have them at the lowest prices with a 10% discount on top of it when you use the promo code WATER at InfoWarsShop.com or follow the shopping cart link at InfoWars.com. Again, we're not funded by David Rockefeller and the New World Order or MSNBC, who's funded with bailout money. That is your tax dollars. We're funded by you. So if you believe in what we're doing, please financially support us and also spread the word about the broadcast, which I know you're doing. Now, we are joined by Dan Fight, who is an investigative journalist. He's reported there at the Capitol in Minnesota. He also runs a popular news site. A few weeks ago, he broke video along with his team of the state police pulling up and taking young people to give them heroin, cocaine, marijuana, you name it, and then bringing them back and dumping them out at Occupy. Now, we've seen this in Austin and in New York and L.A., where they take uh, the homeless, the mentally ill, prisoners, and tell them, you'll be arrested if you sleep anywhere but at Occupy. Then they come and aim cameras at the homeless guys defecating everywhere. Now, regardless of what you believe at, uh, about Occupy Wall Street, they have a First Amendment right, and this is part of a black op program to demonize these groups. And when we had Dan Fight's video that was obviously real state police, obviously real cops saying, turn your cameras off, the police came out and said it wasn't real. And they came out and said we were conspiracy theorists. And now they've come out in the local papers, we'll show screenshots of those there on screen, and have said there's no truth to this, but yes, it's true. So it's, it's a new level of doublespeak talking to you uh, like you're an idiot. Uh, so just amazing. We also have a press release uh, put out by the state. And again, all of that is up at InfoWars.com and also on our guest uh, website that you'll see under him. Uh, Dan, fight. You are certainly fighting tyranny. Uh, wow. Uh, so big reversal. Why are they now admitting that they're taking young people to put them on drugs? 
Well, essentially, the uh, story that the uh, state police put out was that a uh, police officer in a rural town called Hutchinson um, uh, stepped forward, told his uh, uh, his police chief that, yes, in fact, he had seen uh, a state trooper distributing marijuana. And um, at that point, uh, you know, supposedly the wheels started turning and they started having an internal investigation. Also, uh, the major local daily, the Star Tribune, in uh, their coverage of the story, now, uh, they are claiming credit because they interviewed one of the DRE participants who named a specific officer, and then uh, the Star Tribune inquired uh, around noon that day about that officer, and then by about 5 o'clock, that officer had been suspended um, in the state patrol. So, uh, you know, suspensions have taken place. Um, I've heard the FBI has started uh, questioning people, so they're trying to kind of cover their end of things. Um, and, uh, and frankly, the local media is now having to to actually take these things seriously, because now, obviously, they, they don't necessarily believe what regular people say, but once the authorities confirm that something is going on, uh, then they had to run with that story. It's been very interesting to uh, talk with the journalists and see uh, the, the press layer of this, because nobody... Uh, in the media business, nobody likes to confront these un uncomfortable issues of the war on drugs. Uh, one reporter told me that they had to essentially fight their management for days to finally get a story out, but once the official wheels started turning, then they could finally do a story. So uh, those wheels are turning, and, um, and I think that uh, it's given a lot of political impetus to a lot of different activists around town, kind of affiliated with the Occupy movement and more broadly. Uh, last night, uh, people were uh, sleeping out in front of the U.S. bank, fighting against its uh, you know fraudulent system of uh, stealing houses and stuff. Uh, several houses are occupied in the Twin Cities in defiance of eviction orders and that kind of thing. So we're seeing a real strong presence on the streets, uh, a real strong momentum among uh, different you know, social movements. And I think that uh, highlighting this kind of abusive behavior has uh, helped drive that forward. Well, Dan, you also pointed out that the banks you're there protesting have been caught laundering hundreds of millions of drug money. Bloomberg reported Wells Fargo and its subsidiary Wachovia laundered $376 billion from just 2008 to 2010. That broke in 2010. Uh, so it's a joke to have the police out 